So right here beside me, I've got a massive reviewer's kit. This is for the highly anticipated upcoming Ryzen APUs. Now these are the ones that have the Ryzen CPU cores, not the previous APU that really no one cared about. These ones, you're getting Vega graphics, Ryzen CPU cores, People want to know how they perform. Now in this video, I can't show you how they perform until the NDA lifts, but keep in mind, I will give you the numbers as soon as they're available. And I will, and today actually I want to get your feedback as well. What testing do you want to see? So let me know in the comment section below what testing you want to see with both these APUs. Now you can see here, I've already unboxed the contents. So basically inside this massive box, I got a mini ITX motherboard, a USB stick, two of these CPUs, and they both have Wraith uh, stealth uh, coolers with them. I'm guessing the whole theme of the Ryzen APUs is that AMD now has a really nice mini ITX solution. Now we'll be building a PC in this video a little bit later, outlaying all the costs, but we've also got here main focus is the 2400G and the 2200G. 2400G, it's gonna come in at 169 USD, or if you're in Australia, 235 Australian dollars. 2200G, uh, 99 US dollars, so it's extremely cheap and you're going to be able to get it in Australia for 139 AUD. So the pricing is very competitive, especially if you compare it to the current uh, Ryzen CPUs that are out there. For instance, the 1500X, I believe, comes in at the same price as the 2400G. The biggest difference being this has a graphics dedicated portion on it, but the 2400G only has four megabytes of level three cache versus the 1500X, which has uh, 16 megabytes, I believe. The Ryzen 5 1400, which comes in at $150, that has eight megabytes of level three cache, I believe. So you are getting a little less level three cache, but of course you are getting those Vega cores on this dedicated APU. And that's gonna make a world of a difference for some people who wanna get a graphics solution on a budget, but also wanna make mini ITX Ryzen solutions. Uh, right beside it is its little brother, the 2200G. Now you got four cores, four threads. And sorry, I should have mentioned you got four cores, eight threads. 3.6 gigahertz on all cores out of the box, and you can overclock that as well. 2200G, you've got four cores, four threads. So very similar to the Ryzen 3 1200, especially in price as well. Uh, so 99 US dollars, you get the same case structure as the 2400G, but of course you don't have SMT, just like the Ryzen 3 1200 or the 1300X, but you do have a 3.5 gigahertz base clock, which is actually quite aggressive. I think it's more than the Ryzen 3 1200 out of the box. So this one's gonna be a little winner in my opinion. They're actually both gonna be really good. But this one in particular here, the 2200G, you're gonna get a lot of value out of this if you couple it with an A320 motherboard. That's just my opinion. But of course, these CPUs here, we'll take a look at them in the review. Also inside the box, we got this mini ITX motherboard from MSI, a B350 motherboard, has wireless built in, and also on the back has that NVMe slot as well. So this is gonna be great for mini ITX builders and also that G-Skill memory, clean black aesthetic, and it's also got those 3200 XMP profiles, which work out of the box. So they're extremely fast, and if you're on a Ryzen CPU, you'll know just how important memory speeds are for this architecture. So what we're gonna do now is put together this little mini ITX PC, and then we're gonna take a look at it. So now here's the build complete a mini ITX solution with a Ryzen CPU and an APU in it, 2400G, $169, really kicking it in terms of its price point. And then we've got for $80, the in-win Chopin. I like to call it the in-win Chopin personally because I believe it's chopping up the competition. Then we've got the Corsair MP500 
500 gigabytes. This comes in around $228 currently, so pretty fair price, pretty decent NVMe solution, very fast by the way. Uh, and then we've got for $110, I believe this is the price for the MSI uh, B350i Pro AC. And then lastly, of course, is the most expensive thing. This is the memory. So DDR4 prices at the moment, ridiculously expensive, $265 for this kit of memory. So this leaves the whole total of this build to around $850. In much better times when DDR4 prices were lower, you'd probably expect to pay around $750 for something like this. So power supply is integrated into this unit. It is a 100 watt power supply. And of course, with the Ryzen TDP settings printed on the box, we've got 45 watts and also 65 watts. I believe the 65 watt figure is for everything. That's when you've got the graphics going at full ball and you've got the CPU going at full ball as well. 45 watt, of course, if you don't want to use the APU solution, that'd be a figure just for the CPU. So looks like it's going to be a very low powered solution. And how's it going to perform? I'm going to show you guys in an upcoming video. So stay tuned. And if you enjoyed this video, then be sure to hit that like button and let me know out of these two uh, APUs, which one are you looking more forward to and why? Love reading your thoughts and opinions as always. And also let me know in the comment section too, what tests you wanna see with both these APUs and I'll make sure I get that done for you. So stay tuned for the upcoming review and I'll catch you guys in another tech video very soon. Peace out for now, bye.